Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I have this beautiful beautiful wig from Ali Pearl Hair. Probably one of my favorites. I love the color and I have all the info right here. This is their 24 inch balayage highlight wig in straight and 180 density. It's also in HD lace which is why it looks super flawless. It was so easy to install because it actually did come pre-plucked and the knots is all I had to bleach just because I like my bleach but you don't always have to bleach them so you could really just pop this on and it is a 13, 13 by 4 but it looks so good it was so easy to install the hair feels so so soft like look at the color probably the nicest balayage wig or highlight wig because I love the cool tones that it has it also has some warm tones but it's very nice and the roots are done so well like it looks like my own hair color like that what that I have right now so I love this hair had no issues so far and I'll put all of the information down below and the link as well but if you guys want to see how I installed this hair then keep on watching all right the bald head is doing its thing um I'm just I don't know I don't want to put foundation over here we'll see if I can pull it off just because like my blonde is over here and when I take this off I just don't want to wash my hair again but we'll see We'll see what happens but here is the wig it is so beautiful let me back up a little bit it's one of the prettiest like balayage highlight wigs i've ever seen and it's like that like all throughout like you see the back just a bit of brown but it's so pretty and it has the really bright bright bronze i love the color like one of the prettiest ones and i'm so excited and it's actually a pretty cool tone it looks a little warm like it has some warmth in there as well, but it's, for the most part, it's like a perfect balayage, I feel. I really like the color. I'm very excited, and I'm happy that the blonde, like the bright blonde is also at the front. Because some of the wigs, like they have, like they just put like a chunk of brown right in the middle. I'm like, so what's the point of that? But this one is very pretty, and it came pre-plucked, like, just like my other um, wig from, I think was it was a I forget, but my last one. Um, so I didn't have to do any plucking i don't think i will pluck unless it's on my head i'm trying to show you guys i'm wearing my wrist braces because my wrists are just messed up right now but yeah it does come you see all that all i did was bleach the knots i didn't have to like pluck anything and i don't think i will pluck anything maybe on my head but that's literally it so i'm just gonna put some powder in here and then let's put it on my head and measure where we're gonna put the glue all right let's put this on Okay, I feel like wig technology has been getting way better or something because I'm not having any more issues with wigs not fitting my head, it looks like, so that's amazing. But just like my other install and all my installs from now on, I am making it really close to my hairline. I mean, I'm making it further away from my hairline just so that I don't risk anything, anything getting pulled or anything. All my edges, I like this angle better. And the light works better this way as well but yeah this is what we are working with I really like it I'll just make it a bit tighter but it fits perfect actually I don't even think I should make it tighter because then I'm going to be complaining so yeah perfect perfect love it now just using a lighter powder I'm gonna mark out where I'm going to lay the glue and it's pretty much where the wig cap is yeah, I don't even need to mark it. It's literally just where the wig cap is. I feel like I've done this so much now that I know exactly where I would like it. And the powder I'm using is just this darker powder in the shade Ebony from LA Colors. It looks like it matches very well. I'm just gonna make sure it's all in there. I'm just scared to tint it because last time I tinted it and I feel like the tint was a little too dark. And then cleaning up that little, just where my skin is. There's barely any skin, but honestly, it's better if you glue the wig down to a wig cap if you want it to stay longer rather than on your skin, just on the skin. So more wig cap, the better. Right. And like usual, I am using Fold Hold Active for my glue and I'm gonna put about two to three layers.
and just make sure that you wait in between each layer before you put in before you put more glue on top and that's pretty much it okay it's all pretty much drying up I'm gonna start with the middle first because it's first clear and then I'll go here and here you don't want to dry like put the lace on while it's still white like this because it's just gonna look hella messy you want it to be clear but not like all the way clear because you just want it to be too dry and it's a little confusing but the more you the more you play around with it the easier it gets and the dots just like help you match it up to exactly where you want to place it Use your comb and press the lace into the glue. Now just really press everything in. You want to make sure it is stuck stuck. What I like doing is using like an edge brush and then using the comb part of the edge brush and really pressing it in just because it can get in every crevice. And I also will cut the lace right now, just so it can dry in the right spots, especially just for the ears. So it's, the easiest way to do this is just make a line so you can see exactly where you're cutting and then you just cut within that line. So this way you're not cutting any hairs as well. I'm just cutting the lace. So just like this, so you're not cutting your ear. Same thing over here. I'm just going to clip everything back so I can put the melting band on. And they did provide a melting band also right here. So cute. Little sparkle sparkle. And I'll probably leave this on for about five to ten minutes till it's all dry. Perfect. And in the meantime, I'm just gonna do um, I'm gonna use my hot comb and part the middle part. And all I'm using is a wax stick and just a hot comb. Right, it's time to take this off. Ooh. Oh wow, look at that. Look at that melt. And this is without me plucking like one bit. I'm not even putting any baby hairs because this is so melted. Wow, wow, really impressed. Very, very impressed. I'm just gonna clip these back and use an eyebrow razor to cut off the lace. And you just wanna be really close to a mirror so you're cutting accurately. Got tweezers. And the eyebrow razor is all I'm using. Yeah, it is so melted. I can't even see the lace properly. <laughs> but it's so, so good. I'm going to be accurately fried in the middle. All right, I think this is where we're gonna stop this and then I'll be back. Um, I think I'm gonna finish this off at my place when I get to my apartment. So let's do some movie magic and I'll reappear. Hi guys, I know I look really different. So I am finally home and I just did my makeup. I'm gonna go out right now for some dinner and just thought I would just finish up my hair when I'm home. So I haven't really done anything to it. I left it in the melting band and now all I'm gonna do is just straighten it up. It's almost straight, but um, just like from the humidity and stuff, it's, it's not all the way straight. So I'm just gonna use my Babyliss Pro Titanium Straightener and I'm gonna put some serum. Just the BioSilk 
serum and that is pretty much it straightening it up and i'm not doing baby hair so that's why this install is going really smooth but that is pretty much it Color of this hair, it is everything, and it's so easy to straighten. Literally, just one pass. And I like the fact that this is pretty low density, so it's much easier to style. It's not too much work, and it feels more natural, I would say. Right, and we will now hot comb. Oh wow. Let me fix this first. I just have an indent from the band, but that was that was on me. I just put it a little bit too tight. Uh, but the hair is pretty much almost done. I'm just gonna hot comb a little bit more. I'm gonna hot comb it down like more closer to my face. Just looks more natural instead of it going up like that, and it looks flatter too. this fall back very cute then getting um, a lighter color just for the part the parts fitting pretty good and here too all right I think we're almost done just gonna hairspray a little bit just for fly away. Perfect. And I'm not going to cut any layers. I'll see if I will for next time, but I just love this color. So beautiful. The hair is great. And this is the final look. Here is the final look. How pretty is this color? Probably one of my favorite wigs that I've ever reviewed and tried out. I love it. The ends look great. Perfect length. Love it. And that is it. That was so easy. The wig came pretty much prepped for you. Um, you don't even have to bleach the knots if you don't want to. But if you are a bit lighter, then I would recommend bleaching the knots, but it didn't even need it. It was pre-plucked and it was actually pre-plucked. Like I didn't even pluck one bit and it's perfect. Really nice to work with, so easy. And I would highly recommend it. So if you guys would like to purchase this, I'll put all of the information in the description down below. I love Ali Pearl's hair. I've never had an issue and even my clients, I get them to order from there and they also don't have any problems. So 10 out of 10. But yeah, that is it for this video and I'll see you guys in my next one.